I'm going to show you how to present and share your screen in the wonder.me platform. So you'll see my circle is in the center of the room right now. And there's another individual as well in the room. When I'm ready to present or broadcast, as it's called in wonder.me, I'm gonna click on this little button that's on the right hand side. It's the third one down. It's the little icon with the podium. Go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna get this message that says broadcast. Okay, this allows you to speak to all the guests all at once in the room. I'm gonna go ahead and click on start broadcast. It gives you a countdown and it gives the people in the room the countdown as well. And once the countdown ends, you'll see my video is going to show. So this is what everybody's gonna see right now. So everybody in the room is seeing this broadcast and you would start talking to your guests. I wanna show you that on the top right hand corner of this view, you'll see one user is listening. That's because there was only one person in the room and you can see that that person is there listening to your broadcast right now. So the options that you have, if you want to talk just in video format, just like this, you can, or with your webcam, you can also share your screen. So on the bottom, you'll see this little rectangle with an arrow, you can click on that and then you're gonna be able to select and share your entire screen. Click on the share button, and then now my viewers or my listeners can see the, sh the screen that I'm sharing. So I can you know, go to another screen and demonstrate something, go to a website, share whatever you would like. All the viewers and listeners in the room are going to see the, sh the screen that you share, and they're also gonna be able to see you as well. And you'll see the little preview right here that you see in your view as I'm presenting. So once you are you know, done with your broadcast or your presentation, you're going to go over here and select End Broadcast. And now you are back in the room with the other individuals. So after your presentation or your broadcast has ended, there's an opportunity for you to meet up with some of the people that just got done listening to you. Maybe they have some questions for you, maybe you just want to chat with them. So you can move to an area in the room and do that. So let me show you how that's going to work. So we're going to use this area over here called Presentation Debrief and I'm going to go towards it and then you'll see maybe some people that are in the room are gonna to come towards that and meet you there. What they're going to do is they're going to take their circle and kind of join yours. So then you can form a circle and have some conversations. Here we go. Hi, Billy. Hi, Maria. That was a great presentation. <laughs> Thank you so much. So here you can have as little as two people up to 15 in this little circle to have a small debrief session with some attendees. And that's how it works. And once you want this to end, you would just click on your circle and drag it out of the circle to end that little room. And I'm going to say bye now. Thank you, Billy. Goodbye. And then you'll notice that once I've left that circle, I am just in the room now and then that's it. You could end the session.